Okay guys, I wanted to take a quick second to do a review on my Ultimac rail. I've had it on this gun long enough now to where I feel comfortable uh, giving it my 100% heartfelt stamp of approval. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this, <laughs> this is the first AKE scope mount of any type that I've had that I actually feel like is a... Um, legitimate addition to the firearm that actually makes it better and not extremely mall ninja-y. Um, the biggest reason why I say that is um, all the, uh, the like the Krebs custom style rails that go up and then come down like over the uh, top cover they add a ton of weight and a ton of bulk and the majority of it is a huge expanse of rail that you really can't even use for anything. Um, whereas with the Ultimac, um, it's exactly what you need, exactly where you need it. And with this particular setup, you can even run a flashlight off of it with a uh, offset mount. So you don't have to bother with putting quad rails and all that stuff under here. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think it's... <laughs> it's a really awesome setup, and let me go see, get a shot of the uh, model number on here. That's the M1-B, made in U.S. So, I mean, it's an awesome part that actually is functional, and it adds a com uh, 922R compliance part to your gun to boot. So, <clears throat> you can't really beat that. And also, I don't know if I'll be able to get a picture of it, but um, your sights actually do co-witness. I know it says all this on the website, but it, <clears throat> I know it always benefits me to actually see it before I buy. So if there are any, any of you out there that are considering buying one of these, I would highly recommend it. They're, they're only like... 80 or 90 dollars. Um, I got mine off millserpstuff.com. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was 88 dollars, and I believe the shipping was free. I don't know if they're still doing that, but um, I mean, this is completely rock solid. It replaces your upper handguard and your uh, and your gas tube. Um, <clears throat> really, the only complaint I have with it is. When I use it on a Polish Tantal, which that's what this gun is, believe it or not, um, there's a small gap between the uh, rear or the the receiver trunnion and the um, where the rail actually begins. And after I clean my gun, that allows that allows uh, like oil and stuff to splatter back up on the uh, the rear lens of my optic which really isn't the uh, the rails fault that's <laughs> I mean I guess I could always move my optic more out more or less out here and but really I that would kind of all that would really do is increase my swing weight but um <clears throat> as in terms of <clears throat> in terms of adding like extra weight and stuff uh, the it's made out of aluminum for the most part uh, the uh, the barrel bands that wrap around the barrel are steel I believe and the screws the hex screws are going to be uh, steel but other than that everything's made out of aluminum and <clears throat> it has done really well for me so far I've probably got meh three or four hundred rounds through this gun since I put it on and um, I mean, I've gotten it pretty hot, pretty hot, um, hot enough to where everything has gotten really too hot to touch with bare hands. So I, I need to, I've been meaning to um, go ahead and get some gloves for when I start actually taking some rifle classes and stuff. Um, But yeah, um, uh, the optic, by the way, is a Bushnell TRS-25. Uh, those 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 things, if you've not heard about them, um, are awesome. 
the battery life is like 3,000 hours and it's waterproof and recoil proof and shock proof and it has 11 different settings of brightness and you've got your little your two little windage adjustments there um, it has a, uh, a built-in uh, rail mount which makes it not quite as um, versatile in terms of the different um, attachment methods you can use um, I don't think you could use a riser mount for an AR-15 um, you might be able to I'm not sure um, but uh, yeah anyway back to the rail um, <laughs> I got off on a tangent here I, I like that optic a lot um, but the Ultimac <clears throat> I don't, if you've never seen one of these up close it actually this is something I didn't realize until like a couple days just before I bought it and it's actually one of the biggest things that sold me on them is the uh, the sides here actually come out and meet flush with your uh, lower handguard so it's not like you're losing any gripping surface because the rail actually comes out to uh, to uh, meet your hand there um, <clears throat> probably the only the only recommendations I would have for this thing is I don't know maybe if they could make this rail go on out and then have some Picatinny rail segments like out here that might be cool but really I mean for what you're paying for you can't <laughs> you can't really expect all that I mean this is awesome mount awesome mount and you I mean I just can't I love it. So, anyway, I'm going to quit rambling, and I'll catch you guys later. Uh, if you have any questions about this mount, just send me a private message, and I'll get back to you as quick as possible. Or if you have any questions about this Polish Tantal, I've done a lot of modifications to it to get it to look more standard AK-74-ish. So, if you want to know what I did, or if you have any questions about how I... Uh, actually installed the Ultimac rail on the Tantal, I'll be happy to answer that for you too. That's a that's another video in of itself, but <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.